FMC family, it's your boy Reverend Dallas, and we're back. It's day number 11. And man, if God put something on my heart for you today, because this is important. While we're doing our fasting, we're doing our, our, our praying and things like that, we're, we're growing on the inside, but we're growing inside and we're growing something special. And he put this on my heart to tell us today because he says this, Proverbs 4.23, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. That means he's saying protect your heart amongst all else. You're praying and you're developing this growth and you're growing and, and, and everything inside you is growing and it's becoming very precious, very valuable. And if it's valuable to you, then you have to know that it's valuable to the enemy as well. So you have to recognize your treasure. And when he speaks about the heart, he's speaking about the mind. You have to recognize the treasure. Jesus says where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So just like we got locks on our doors and alarms on our cars and, and alarm system for our houses, our hearts have to be protected even 10 times more. Because what we have in our minds is just that precious. Because out of it, as it says, flows the issues of life. That's why we have to fill our heart with the word. We got to fill our heart with prayer. You got to fill your heart with fellowship. And sometimes you can't fellowship with everybody. And just like with this coronavirus, everybody can't come into your house. You got to be able to guard yourself, protect yourself from those people who are contagious. Because if they got it, you're going to end up catching it. Because here's the truth. Our behavior is just an outward expression of our inward truth. And if, you, and if your heart is corrupt, you're going to be corrupt. But if your heart is pure, then you're going to be pure. But Paul tells us we have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Sometimes we need a heart transplant. Look at your life. Look around you. If you don't like what you see, you got to change what's in your heart. If you don't like yourself gaining weight, you change your diet. So I'm telling us today, sometimes we got to change our diet. Ask God to give you a heart transplant. Give you the heart of Jesus Christ. Give you a heart of love. As always, this is the church with outstretched arms. And we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.